Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I have a review video on the new Glow Collection by Makeup Revolution. Some of them have a different name, so I'm just going to show you real quick all these. So we've got Fixing Glow Ultra Glow Primer. We've got the Glow Stick. We've got the Illuminate and Glow. We have the Fix and Glow. And we have the Conceal and Glow Foundation. So I wanted to get the whole collection because one, it wasn't that big and it wasn't too, it wasn't too bad, it wasn't too expensive. Um, and two, I really want to do like a proper review with all the products this time. So um, let me just break it down for you, price, shade and whatnot. So I got the Conceal and Glow in F6. I am usually F6. So um, this costed $9.99, but I bought three of these products. I don't remember which ones though. I bought three of them off of the Superdrug website and it was three for two on cosmetics. So I was able to get one of the items for free. Um, next on the list, we have the Illuminate and Glow Illuminating Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne. So this I assume is more like a liquid highlighter that is good as under your under your foundation or mixed in with a product. So basically like a normal illuminator. Then we have the glow stick. This is uh, this is fast based glow highlighter stick. Um, not sure if you can use it over your foundation. This is in champagne as well. Just by looking at it, like um, just by looking at it, I I don't think you can see it from back here, but uh, it has like really like glitter effects in it so i i don't know i'll have to test that out later and see what that is for but that is uh eight pound the illuminator sorry the illuminator was 10 pound i don't know if i mentioned that this was 10 pound this fix and glow dewy finish with shimmer particles this is a uh fixing spray this one costs eight pounds it, there is no like um shade choice for it it's just as it is and um, when they did the glass skin collection it feels a little bit similar to this whereas this has like nice pink um particles in it at the bottom so let me just shake that up you can kind of see it spinning around there so that is eight pound and then last but not least we have the revolution fix and glow primer this is eight pounds this only comes in one shade. This says apply evenly after moisturizer using fingers to create a luminous glow. So think of this also as an illuminator as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight in. I'm gonna moisturize my skin first with some Nivea Q10 um, anti-wrinkle stuff day cream. I'm just gonna go in with that quickly. Okay, I'm gonna use some of the XX Youth Juice um, Primer. I'm gonna pop some of that on. I feel like this is very much a like moisturizer slash primer. I like the consistency of it. Now I'm gonna go in with the Fix and Glow uh, Ultra Glow Primer. This says apply evenly after moisturizer, even though I applied the Youth Dew. Um, I only apply that because I feel like it gives me an extra, like, um, extra hydration. Um, so it says apply evenly after moisturizers using fingers to create a luminous glow. So, let's see. So it comes out a pink, uh, what do you call this? Yeah, pink consistency. Has kind of like an alcoholy scent. Very alcoholy. Um, I'm just going to put this at the top of my cheekbones. Like this. I think it says apply evenly because it might set quite quickly and if you don't blend it out properly, it might leave like patches on your skin. So let's see. Whenever I do like illuminators and stuff, I make sure I put most of it like where I put powder highlighter, which is like top of the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, cubers bow, chin, anywhere that I just want to look glowy. I, I tend not to put it too close to my T-zone because I already get oily there. I don't want to look extra glowy there, you know. Ok, 
okay and then the remaining product that I have on my hands I'm just gonna rub together like this and just pat above my eyebrows just here not too much to the center like to the center of the t-zone so here and here just kind of around it all right so i've just read the illuminate and glow you can mix in with your foundation or use it alone i'm not going to mix it in with the foundation because i want to see how the foundation does by itself so what i'm going to do i'm also going to use a little bit of this and i'm going to pack it just directly i'm not going to make a big area a surface area of it i'm just gonna directly put it in all the highlight places so i'm not gonna blend it out too far so i'm just gonna see how it is because there's like two two of these products do basically the same thing so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take some of this illuminate and glow just a tad i'm not gonna go crazy with it it comes out like this. This was in champagne. I'm just going to take some of that. It's quite thick. It doesn't give off like a very, very strong. I mean, on my hand, it doesn't look too strong, but it doesn't give out a strong chrome effect. I'm just going to. Oh. This smells. Yeah, it says on the website it smells a bit of pineapple, and it does. It smells beautiful. I actually like that. Think of like tropical tropical island it reminds me of when i went greece this is oh that smells nice remind me of the good days when i could travel mm. okay now as you can see it's it's a lot more luminous than the primer i'm just going to take a tiny bit and just wipe it under my eyebrow as well where I usually put highlighter just right under here it smells great though I think this smells like the fox tan if anyone's ever used the fox tan products it smells like that basically I think I pumped out quite a lot I don't really need that much so I think a little goes a long way with that all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the uh, conceal and glow my sponge is damp because I just cleaned it. Um, this is an F6. I am F6 in pretty much all of the Revolution foundation products because it is a light with yellow undertone, which th that would be me. Um, so I'm going to pump some on my hand. I have heard, not fully, just a, a little sprinkle. Um, I've heard that this is similar to the Conceal and Hydrate, but I... I don't remember if I bought the Conceal and Hydrate. I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. So I, I think this is just a full on um, review of just the Conceal and Glow and not comparing it to something else because a lot of people are comparing it to that. But I don't know, I've never used it. So um, this is what it looks like on my hand. Thick, it's not falling down, it's not sliding, it's just there. So it's a little bit of a thicker consistency. The Conceal and Define was always going to be thick because it was full coverage. So this I'm assuming is going to be full, medium to full, if not full and luminous. So let's have a look. Definitely luminous. I mean, I can see that already. So far, on all the points where I put that illuminator, you can still see it peeking through, which is nice. To be honest, I think I could have gone a little bit um, darker on the foundation. All of a sudden, I've like my skin tone has like changed. I've always been F6, and now for some reason, it's a bit too light for me. And I haven't had a tan. I have not tanned. I have not used any bronzing. I haven't fake tanned. So, oh, your girl looks a bit <clears throat> grey. But do you know what? We'll go with it. 
we will go with it. Unless they've changed the formula in this, it just does not look the same as what F6 usually is. Like, what's this? I even have F F6 conceal and um, define here. I will check if it looks exactly the same on my hand later, I'll, like after I apply my foundation, because this is looking different. I look grey as hell, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is F6. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is F6 in the Conceal and Glow. This is F6 in um, Conceal and Define. As you can see, this one's a lot pinker. This is the Conceal, this is the brand new one, the Conceal and Glow, and this is the Conceal and Define, which is like the original foundation. Now, as you can see, this one's a lot more yellow. And that's why now I'm confused. I'm thinking to myself, I look too gray. I look too pink. And I can see why, because now they've made F6 more pink, whereas F6 used to be more yellow for me. So that, I'm not, I'm not happy about that. So now I have to find a different foundation shade. I wish they just stuck with it. What's that? Unless it's the like illuminating quality in the foundation that's making the foundation more lighter than it should be, but that's not right. I'm thinking to myself, I look too, I look too pink. It's too like light on me. Anyway, so now at least you can see the difference. Before you get this foundation, please double check your shade because it's not going to be the same as um, the conceal and define. Okay, cool. So I am going to leave it at that. I'm going to skip to where I actually use. Maybe I might use all, I might use this again and apply that on my cheekbones and then apply a powder highlight, but then I'll use this. Actually, yes, I'm gonna use the glow stick as highlighter. I'm gonna use this as highlighter, maybe add a little bit of this as well, and then I'll set my face with some fixing spray. So I'll be right back, I'll skip right through. I have to bronze myself up a little bit because I'm looking a bit pale. So um, I'll be right back to when I use the other products. Okay, so I'm back. Now I'm gonna add some highlighters. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this glow stick, but first I'm just gonna see how it looks on my skin. You can see it on my skin. It looks more like a, um, a stick made for the skin, more like a, if you were ever gonna do like a natural, no makeup, glowy skin look this is what you'd use i don't know if this is something that i want to put on top of my skin right now yeah i don't know if this is something that i want to put on top of my skin right now it looks quite oily like and i don't know if this is going to sit on my skin well with the foundation it's quite sticky yeah i don't think i can use this on my skin right now but i'd say this is something to use when you're doing um a no makeup makeup look with no foundation maybe like a tinted moisturizer like what they have already i have done a review for that if you want to see that i'll put it up here it's very beautiful on the skin as you can see very nice but i don't think it's going to sit on the foundation well i think it might separate so i think i'm going to leave that for the time being i might put some of this liquid highlighter on top let me see okay i'm going to put some of that liquid illuminating glow i'm going to get a bit of that this nice smell of it it smells so good i'm just gonna pat it on top not too much at a time because the consistency it's one of those consistencies that will set quite quickly so i don't want it to leave a patch that i can't blend out so i'm doing it very small small portions at a time And this looks like it's sitting on my skin quite well. It's not messing up the foundation or concealer or bronzer in this area. It looks quite natural, as you can see. Mmm, she's glowing. I really like this consistency, actually. Usually when I, I never, ever, ever use like liquid um, illuminator on top of my foundations because I've just had such bad experiences of it separating my foundation and it just looking disgraceful. So it looks like it hasn't even affected my foundation at all, nothing. Foundation, powder, bronzer, everything that I've put on it is not affecting it and it just it's just 
blending into the skin well, which I love. So this is actually something I can use on top of my foundations. I, I literally never use it because I'm so like, I've spent all that bloody time doing my face for highlighter to mess it up. I don't think so, no way. I don't spend all that time trying to make myself look pretty for it to be ruined and then for me to have to try and do it again or fix it. No, I'm not doing that. That looks beautiful. It's not as gleamy as I usually have it, but it's really pretty. It's still very pretty, very wearable. I would even put powder highlighter on top of this, but I want um, in this review for you to actually be able to see without me covering it up. So this is what it currently looks like and I actually really like that. Um, very nice, very subtle, smells fantastic, and it doesn't mess up my makeup, which is like the top number one point for me. That is the top number one point. Okay, so let me just finish my blush, finish my lips, and then I'm going to use the setting spray with the lid that keeps falling off. All right, so now I'm just shaking this Fix and Glow up. It says Dewy Finish with Shimmer Particles Shake Before You. So... I see the shimmer particles. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. On my forehead, I can definitely see it. This does give, oh, it smells exactly like the Illuminating Glow. Mm, fantastic. I can see the shimmer particles. It has, I think it has made my skin a little bit more dewy. I'm just gonna spray more because I'm extra. It's nice. I feel like I look extra dewy. Mm, I feel like I look extra, extra dewy. Hold on, I need to add some jewelry. Okay, you know I had to come back with that bling. It's gonna make me look extra gleamy. Anytime you wanna look popping, you just wear diamonds and mm, you already look gleaming. So this is the look. This is me using pretty much all five actually no all four of those products i couldn't use the fifth one which was the um glow stick because i just i really i have this feeling and i you know i've been doing my makeup for so long now i feel like it's gonna mess up my makeup it is gonna mess up my makeup you know i've played with makeup for so long i've used different things i've experimented and you know i just know when things aren't gonna go right and i think if i put that on my skin i don't know i just think it's not gonna go right but out of the four that i used I really, I like them all. The foundation, that's the one thing that was irking me is the fact that even though it's the same shade and you would say the same conceal and something range, the Conceal and Define I'm F6, you could see it was more yellow, whereas the Conceal and Glow was more pink. And that's the one thing that irks me because I just thought, you know, if you have the same number, it's gonna be the same shade, which it isn't. So that means I have to find a step higher, maybe 6.5 or a seven or something. Maybe that will be my actual shade in this. Although, you know, I did put in, a, 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 I really did bronze up my skin. I wish you saw what my skin looked like, but I put a lot of bronzer on. And I think, you know, it's it's made a, a little bit of difference. I still feel like I'm like really pink in certain areas. But other than that, the foundation is medium to full. It's not full, it is very medium to full because even though I only put one layer on, I can still see minor imperfections in my skin. I have natural redness in my skin and um, I can still see them through. So if you want it to be full i'd probably say build it up a little bit more um the primer which was this i actually quite like i feel like it worked and you could really see it through my foundation um if you want a full face of illuminator definitely if you put this all over your face you're definitely going to be glowing so this is something that i really like and to be honest it reminds me a lot of this which is their super dewy uh skin elixir makeup serum which i had just done a review on this as well um very similar actually, although this one's definitely more glittery, more shimmery, more illuminated. This one, I feel like it has similar aspects. So if you haven't seen my super dewy um, review on that, I think I already put it up here somewhere. But if I haven't, I'll put it back up here. So it's very similar, but I really like the Fix and Glow. This, oh my god, this. Mm, 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 mm. Fantastic. Very nice. You know? 
it works under the makeup, it works over the makeup, like, and I'm pretty sure if you mix this in with your makeup, it would look, be, it'd look even more glowy. But this, on top of the makeup, the one thing that I'm very impressed by this is that it doesn't separate your foundation. Now, so, uh, as I said before, there's certain things that I've used that separate on my skin. And I've been there, I've done that, you know, I've made myself look real cute. And I put a, a illuminating a highlighter on, like a liquid form. And it just, it separated the makeup, the foundation came off, my skin looked ridiculous. And I was pissed because I took so long to do my makeup and it came off at the end. So um, this is something that I'm quite impressed with and I really like and I'll definitely use this. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure you can use this for your skin as well. I don't see why not um, because it looks quite nice on the skin. If you have a big brush and just brush it all over your skin, why not? So I really, really like this. Definitely 100% will be using this and recommending this. Love this. Fix and Glow. You know, I like tight fit, fitting caps because I like to pick things up from the top. But then if it, you know, I like, you know, that's just me. Maybe that's just me. But um, I don't like loose fitting tops. But the product itself is actually quite nice. I actually can see the shimmery particles. My skin looks glowy. Like I can definitely, like my forehead's big. You can see if particles are there okay you have all this space right here and i can see on my forehead how gleaming it is because i know i didn't put illuminator right at the top here i didn't put any illuminator but after spraying i can see the gleam and i don't know if that's i don't think that's just the foundation i definitely think it is from the spray and um it looks really good and it's a pink undertone so it will suit my skin tone it looks fantastic and i really like it this and it smells good if I didn't mention it about the illuminating glow, that smells fantastic. So do this, it smells the same, it smells great. So I will be using this as well. I've got my whole corner here of setting sprays and it's just endless. So now this is another one that's gonna be added to the collection. So overall, I really like the collection. Um, anything to do with glow, illuminating, dewy, <clears throat> call me over, cause I'll be right there. Cause uh, I love, love it. This is just my number one look. Just glowy skin, highlight fresh, and just, I love it, it's, it's my favorite. So to be honest, I really enjoy this collection. I will definitely, most definitely be using one, two. I think I'll be using the three out of the four I used. I don't I'm not gonna be using the foundation because it's not my shade, so unfortunately, but the Fix and Glow setting spray, the Illuminating Glow um, Illuminator and the primer, love it. So yeah, that is my review. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.